Hey guys, I uh, wanted to go through a uh, dagger pistol setup um, and different ways that you can play it. Um, <clears throat> first of all, the super meta way to do it, like this is 100% meta um, way to run dagger pistols with uh, trickery, uh, throw of the crime, bountiful theft, and sleight of hand, and then in deadly arts, you know, mug, panic strike, and improvisation, and then in daredevil, brawler's tenacity, pulmonary impact and dash uh, reason for brawlers tenacity is that we're going to be using channeled vigor um, when you're taking this talent point it reduces the uh, recharge time on it so it has lower cooldown and also it gives you back more uh, endurance so you can use up more of your uh, dash dodges okay and then with uh, blinding powder shadow step signet of agility and basilisk venom this is the way that uh, Sindriner has been running it, you know, for a long time before he quit playing the game. Um, and, I mean, I think that it's it's mainly for team play, though, um, especially using Blinding Powder, because Blinding Powder is really good when you um, want to stealth yourself and your allies, right? So if, if let's say, somebody is uh, really low um, in their fight and you, you want to help them get away, then you can come up to them and you know, hit a blinding powder on them like that <clears throat> and help them get some stealth for a little bit. Or if he's downed, um, then you can use it to um, get them up. Um, yeah, and... Dagger Pistol relies a lot on the blinds and the interrupts, you know, like with pulmonary impact using, using, uh, you know, your offhand uh, daze, and then getting into stealth with Blinding Powder and um, Heart Seeker. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so with Dagger Pistol, it's all, it's... It's all about using blinds to your advantage uh, with your shadow shot um, and your black powder. When you do your black powder, it blinds um, the area around you and the target that you hit, right? So if you see this um, target golem here, if I use my uh, five skill on him, black powder, boom, he's he has blind on him. So his next outgoing attack misses, and you also get this blind field around your body. So it, if anyone enters it, you know their next attack will uh, will miss. Um, okay, and then also using shadow shot. Shadow shot teleports you to them after you shoot shoot your pistol at them. Then you then you dash onto them. I mean shadow step onto them with uh, with an attack. So here's a nice example fight. Um, use I charge up my bass's venom. Use blinding powder steel. And the heart seeker and backstab right on top of him. He misses his first attack because the black blinding powder around him. Okay, I go to uh, headshot him to daze him. He stuns me. I use shadow step to get out. Use a blinding powder right on top of him for a, for a backstab. Okay, shadows return and heal up a little bit and line of sight behind this pole. Here I go to interrupt him again. Um, then I use a shadow shot for a blind and some damage uh, onto him, and then I throw down another black uh, blinding powder on the ground, and then um, used uh, Heart Seeker to gain stealth, and then I come back in with Heart Seeker Steel. He goes reperform, so I dash out, use another blinding powder right on top of him, and he misses that swing, and then while I'm in stealth, I heal up, okay, and then shadow shot in for another blind and some damage. And then just finish him off uh, with Heart Secret Auto Attack. Okay, so that's one way to set it up here with um, Blinding Powder and stuff. But um, I think Blinding Powder is better when you're playing with people and you're actually talking to them because let's say. You know, you're trying to stealth somebody and help them get away from a fight, but they don't know that you're going to do that. So as soon as they attack the person from stealth, they're just going to get revealed anyway. 
and then it was kind of a waste of a blanding powder. It's the same thing when people are in downstate and you try to res them, but they're you know doing your their downstate auto attack and they just come right out of stealth anyway. So um, some, sometimes I don't really like using blinding powder. I'd rather take a uh, roll for initiative, um, especially because I really hate uh, long range pew pew classes. And let's say a let's say a ranger you know, pushes you down and then starts doing that, uh, you know, that rapid shot thing at you, or even like a dead eye starts doing like double taps on you and stuff. Blinding powder doesn't really help there because as long as they, you know, cast, if, if they're already casting it on you and you use blinding powder, even if you're in stealth, um, you're still going to get hit by the full, you know, attack unless you, you know, use a dash or something. Uh, <clears throat> that's why I like roll for initiative. And also, that's why I like withdraw as well, but um, you know it's all preference. But if you wanted to do it the super meta way that uh, Sindriner, you know the number one thief has been uh, doing it, number one DP thief, um, this is this is the way to go here. And also for the uh, sigils, I always keep sigil of exploitation, and then the other one you can go with really whatever you want. Sometimes I go with uh, sigil of courage or um, on hit, yeah purging. Remove a condition or on hit remove a boon. Um, it's really up to you, I guess. Um, but on the short bow, as always, you know, sigil of cleansing and sigil of energy. Okay, uh, let's talk about some combos that you can do because uh, DP thief is a lot about like you know stealth, using stealth to your advantage too. So learning how to stealth stack is pretty important. Um, so what you do there is you know you just use you you're doing a combo field right. Um, so you're going to use Black Powder, and then you're going to use your Leap uh, with Heartseeker. Okay, Leap, turn around, Leap through, Leap through again. Okay, and then you'll have uh, some stealth time here. Um, and this is really good for when you're rotating around the map. Like, let's say uh, you're capping or decapping, and somebody comes to contest you. You can just, you know, you can just leave, you know. And also by doing this, you can also juke your opponents, you know, Make it make them think you're going one way when you're really going another, but that all just comes down to practicing and um, a lot of uh, game time with this uh, setup here. Okay, other combos. Uh, so the backstab combo, you can do it from far away. I'm gonna do it on a on a golem because I don't feel like fighting stuff. Okay, so a lot of people, what they do is they do their black powder here, and then heart seeker in and steal, and then go ahead and do the, do the backstab. Um, you can also do it with shadow steps. You can blinding powder, leap, shadow step, backstab, and then whatever, return. Uh, and then the other way I like to do it is if you want to put the, the black powder field on the enemy, uh, when you go in, then you can, you know, black powder steal, and then do your heart seeker backstab. So it looks like this. Okay. Um, if you use your black powder and do a headshot, you also put another blind on them because you're you're standing in the in the field, right? So that's another combo field. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, also, let's say you want to do a backstab, but you don't have steel. Um, let's say you're in stealth, okay? Oh, and you want to do a backstab, but you don't have steel, but you need to do a little bit of distance here. You can use Shadow Shot to go in, and um, instead of letting the, the second part of Shadow Shot uh, land, you can spam your... your um, you know your one, your backstab, and instead of doing, it'll cancel out that second part of shadow shot, and it'll do a backstab instead. So I'll show you right here. So gain some stealth, okay? Something like that. Do your shadow shot, and then spam one, and then you'll hit a backstab. Okay. Um, DP is really nice f because uh, I mean it has its pros and cons um, for me personally. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have its own uh, version of evade, right? With um, 
in one of their you know the weapon set skills i mean it has it has a blind here it has a blind here but uh like dagger dagger for example or sword dagger has you know their their three skill is a is a evade frame um but dagger pistol doesn't have that that's why you have to um you know use use dodges a little bit more often and that's why it's good to have channeled vigor because then you know you'll you'll be you'll get some recharge back on your on your evades oh yeah i also forgot to talk about um combo fields with your short bow so with black powder you can you can use black powder on yourself and then switch to short bow and use cluster bomb and get a uh, area stealth okay so really good for um you know stealthing up your team and stuff so if you're playing dagger pistol um it's best when for for you to go mid with your team first and uh try and stealth them up before the fight at mid um and yeah i guess that's all i really want to talk about if you guys have any more questions or anything uh please uh, let me know in the comments down below i'll see you in another one peace